Hey y'all, I recently went home to Cleveland to visit family, and you know I had to fly some drones, so I put the pair of Nafi and the DJI Mavic 2 Pro in the air. Now this video isn't really meant to put the Anafi and the Mavic 2 Pro up against each other, because I'll just tell you right up front, the Mavic 2 Pro is simply a much better drone. But at half the price, the Anafi gives you a lot of quality. So since I was flying them both, I thought I'd compare some of the footage. The first thing I wanna do is see if you can spot which drone is which. All right, here's the first drone. Here's the other one. I flew the same spot on different days, so the conditions are a little bit different, but you can still get an idea of the specific look of each drone. Both were filming at 4K 24 frames per second in their native log profiles. That's D-Log M for the Mavic 2 Pro and P-Log for the Anafi. And I had an ND filter on both drones as well. Okay, here's a photo from drone one. Drone two now. Drone one again. And drone two. Let's see how you did. Drone 1 is the Mavic 2 Pro, and Drone 2 is the pair to Nafi. In my opinion, the Mavic 2 Pro produces a better image. It's really not even close, but shooting in P-Log with Anafi is going to allow you to get a lot out of the camera. See here, this is a really nice shot. Everything is nicely exposed with good detail in both the sky and the ground. Colors are nice and rich. But just look at the colors from the Mavic. Even in this simple shot of me flying, sitting on a bench. But don't sleep on the Anafi now. Both take to color grading well, but again, I don't have to do as much with the Mavic 2 Pro footage to get it where I want it. I have a D-Log M to Rec 709 LUT that I either start off with or a lot of times I'll just ride with that alone after some minor tweaking. But editing D-Log M can be a hassle because it requires a lot of processing power from your PC. I did a video on how to remedy that, so check out the link I'm putting up here for that. Now the Anafi grades well too, but I mostly just bump up saturation, contrast, maybe adjust the highlights and shadows ever so slightly, add a little sharpness, and call it a day. All right, y'all, before I get out of here, I'm gonna leave you with some more footage because these clips are as smooth as creamy peanut butter on a slice of bread. Now, this is a church near where my mom's lives. I've driven past it a few times and it looked like it would make for a nice shot. Now the cool thing about flying in Cleveland is getting a different perspective of places I've been or seen growing up. It's just cool to see things from the air, you know? To get this shot with the Mavic, I just set up a point of interest and varied my speed and distance from time to time. I totally intended to get some ground shots as well, but there was this rambunctious dog running around and it was huge. I mean, this thing was gigantic. And there was some guy out there yelling, Steve, Steve. And this dog just stops and it spins around and starts just jetting over to him, you know? And all I could say was, I don't believe I ever met a dog named Steve. So this is actually in a suburb of Cleveland called Maple Heights, but we pretty much consider all of Northeast Ohio to be Cleveland. 
put it like this. If you're in New York somewhere and someone asks you where you're from, even if you're from Maple Heights, Cleveland Heights, Bedford Heights, you're more than likely going to say, I'm from Cleveland. Man, I think these shots came out really well. I don't know, for some reason, I just want to call them drony full. Yeah, these clips are just drony full. Oh yeah, I think that describes it perfectly. Con madres. Okay, good people. I appreciate you for watching. I did a lot of filming in Cleveland, so I'll have at least one more video with footage from the hometown. So stay tuned if you're interested. Until then, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. Later. Thank you.